Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy JJ Hearts, aka Honda G, man. Um, this video right here is about me changing my key out. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to change this from this key to this new joint right here, this flip key. You know what I'm saying? So, but absolutely, this is not cut yet. So, I'm about to show y'all that I'm about to take it to this key place to get a cut for me. You heard? So, I'm back, you know what I'm saying, at home. And I want to show y'all what I did successfully, you know what I'm saying, with my empty key and all that. I had to get this cut. I went to a locksmith to get a cut. And they told me it was $25, which it was very good. It was better than paying $40, $50, $60, $70, or whatever that case may be. But good thing I had a little discount, which is great, you know what I'm saying? So this is just a shell right here. This is not program or nothing like that. And what I am going to do here is I'm going to use this to take everything out of this and switch it over to this. And I have to make sure that the RFID chip is in there and everything in order for the car to start. You know what I'm saying? And also, I ended up getting a new battery for this. So I could, you know, have a last long battery because I like to start new things every time I change up. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. All right, so for me to take this out, I have to unscrew the bottom. Then this whole thing gotta come out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to unscrew it now. And you got, and make sure you have this screwdriver, this small bit screwdriver right here, very small for this size. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Oh shit! All right, it's out. See, that's a little screw right there. Now I gotta take this whole thing out. Boom. Then you see you take this back out. Then you gotta take this off. This whole little thing. Then you switch it on to this right here. You know what I mean? See, now for this, you gotta pull this part out. You gotta pull this part out off you to take the battery out you know what i'm saying this is the chip and all that you have to be careful don't mess with it and this is a battery right here that i'm about to switch out by the way i already cut this earlier so ah, shit better open there it goes Took, it, took the old one out. The battery's been out, so I'm about to put this new one in. Boom. One, two, three, you heard? So now, I know this might be a little dark, but it's three little holes I gotta take out. One, two, and three. I gotta take out three little screws, you know what I'm saying? So now, I took it out. I took the three little screws out, if you can see it. And the thing is loose now over here, so I gotta gently take this out. I'm trying to be careful. Oh, there it goes. This part right here, I might have to deal with, you know? So this part right here, you gotta be careful. It's not focusing. Anyways, you gotta be careful with the spring because I had to twist it around to get this off. So I have to be very careful with the button and the spring as I'm removing it, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta put my old stuff into this one now. Okay, so now I'm about to put this in there, you know what I'm saying? I know it'll fit, but I gotta make sure it fits, you know what I'm saying? So boom, it fits. And then this part right here, this spring, you gotta watch out for that because it will pop out. So I have to put it back on and make sure it's tightened, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta tighten this and all. Yes. See, this joint, this joint is crazy right here. This joint is crazy. Oh my God. This joint is driving me nuts. Am I able to flip it? Am I able to flip it? No. 
So your boy is back, man. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, honestly, unfortunately, the spring that I was struggling with, like around here, like inside here, I couldn't even put it back on myself because the thing was broken. It was like kind of twisted or whatever. I took it to the locksmith the first time they did it. I paid like $5 for them to do it, which is not bad. Then the second time was that I had to take, I had to replace the new key, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ended up buying a new shell and I just put the new spring on to this one. I had them swap it out for me for like $2. So that's like light work. They did it, they put it, they put everything back together for me and all, which I'm really happy about. I didn't have to recut this or nothing like that cause I already had a cut from them anyways, which is good. So I don't have to pay for that. But good thing that I was able to get it fixed myself. And also if I feel like I can't do it myself, I could get somebody that's professional to help me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not perfect. And I don't think that I'm better than everybody. That is so impossible because everybody has a different gift on their life. So I can't really accommodate too much on it. But anyways, also I wanted to talk about is it should work because it has like a microchip inside inside the motherboard in here. You know what I'm saying? Like where the buttons and stuff. On the older keys, it used to be like on the side or whatever. I wasn't sure. Probably over here or something like that. And them newer keys, which is from 2008 to 2012, of course, and more, and Civics and other cars or whatever, they don't have the outside chip no more. The chips is installed in this to make it harder for you to start the car if you change the chip or whatever. But I'm gonna test the car out, make sure it starts, you know what I'm saying? I know the buttons will work because I already changed the battery to a new fresh battery for, it's gonna last me a minute. And All right, so I'm back. I got my key installed, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna test this out and make sure it starts and everything. So look, I'm gonna show you on my car now. So I'm gonna press unlock. Okay, it's working. Lock. And then open the trunk. It works. And then hit the panic attack. Sorry about that. And then it works. So I'm gonna show you all this now. So I'm about to start my car to make sure, you know what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> watch so I got the flip key aka the knife you heard I'm about to start this car to make sure make sure the author ID reads it you know I turn it on and I don't see the key thing or nothing like that so it should be good to go yeah <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. see yeah so it worked it literally worked you know what I'm saying so I honestly want to thank y'all for watching my video and stuff of me converting my original OEM key to an aftermarket flip key, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna be real with y'all, I just wanna be fancy a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Not too fancy, but I just liked it, the flip key, cause it looks good, you know what I'm saying? It looked like a a, a flip knife and stuff, you know? I, I don't wanna, you know, promote weapons, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? So, that's all I gotta say for now. I honestly wanna thank y'all for watching this, and I got more videos coming up soon, so I'm out, man. Deuces!